All right, guys, I'm back here with the Anycubic D uh, Delta printer, and I'm replacing the hot end on here because for some reason it's getting uh, jammed up in the middle of my prints. This is the printer here. I've got two of them. One of them going at the moment. And this is the one we're going to work on. Now I have done this about uh, probably four times now. This is the replacement unit right here. I'll leave a link or maybe several links if I can because these were hard to come by, especially the correct one with the correct space right here in between the actual hot end here and the cooling fins. So that was my first predicament in getting the wrong hot end for this Delta D Anycubic. This one's got two leads off of it and they are labeled. This one does say hot end. You can see that. And this one says TO. See that? Here's the connector ends. And it comes with a uh, 0.4 nozzle already installed on it and your tubing also comes with the uh, nylon strap to hold that locked into place at the top. So there we go. First thing you're going to want to do, you're going to cut these tie straps off. I've already started taking the screws out of the front fan, hot end cooling fan. So I'm going to just go ahead and finish this off. Loosen these screws up. And you've got that loose in a way. Front fan, that kind of gives you access to the hot end there. But we're eventually going to remove the whole case there. So let's cut off these nylon straps here first. That holds this wire tubing to keep the wires corralled. Pull that off. Easily, you don't want to pull your wires out of your cooling fans. Keep this set it aside. You can reuse this. Okay, got our fan off. I'll keep the screws here set aside in a pile down here on the print bed. Remember, your wire comes out this way, the top left side if you're looking at it. Now we're going to take off this uh, plate down here. This plate is where you attach your uh, level leveling probe magnetically to this plate. Get that out of the way. And there's two screws that will hold this plate for your magnetic level probe. So keep those screws together so you know where each length screws go. They all seem to take this one Allen wrench, this one size, to do the whole process here. Okay, next thing, there are three screws up underneath here. Let's see if I can get you an upshot of that before I start. If we go up there, in between the hot end and the uh, cooling ducts, there is one, two, and three. Two on each side and one in the back on the uh, in, inside the cooling duct right there. So we're going to remove those. Let me see if I can show you at least one of them. Right there. I'm into one of them right there. And just loosen those up and remove those three screws. So guys, what that is going to do is release this whole unit at the top here holding your cooling fans. And I noticed a uh, time before, you don't have to pull them all the way out. You don't have to unscrew them all the way because they are actually threaded into this aluminum right here as well. So it's easier if you don't pull them all the way out. Just enough 
to release that metal bracket holding your cooling fans. See how it's loosening up there? And we're, we're done. I can keep those threaded in there at the base aluminum panel part. And then this will just slide off the back. Now, this metal piece right here slides into, I'll show you, it's gonna slide back in, when you put this back in, to the bottom rung here of your cooling fins. That's where that metal bracket will go in and out of to hold this down into place. So just remember that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and unconnect up here, the hot end to wire. Press the tab and release and the TO end right here, T press the tab and release. And now we need to release it from up here on, what is this, the extruder or the feeder? Sorry guys, I don't know all the technical terms. I've been 3D printing for probably uh, three, four years now. And then to release this, it's got like a push, push and release, this thing pushes up the ring, plastic ring on here, if you push it up, it will release the tube. So push and pull the tube at the same time. Sometimes that can be hard to do, but this one was pretty easy. Now guys, look at this. If we push this, these wires out of the way from our cooling fans, this pulls right out. There you go. For some reason I was getting clogged up there and I think because I replaced this uh, metal fitting right here, quick release, and I didn't get the tube all the way down before I started the last time. All right, so at this point, we've got all the fans released out of the way. We're gonna put this back up. Remember to have your electrical ends coming out the front left side as you're looking at it like this, and your tube straight up. Put it in this way. Yeah, and the wiring fits right down into the notch right there. There is a notch. I can show you that notch. That wiring goes right into that notch. Just work it down there like that. All right, so we've got our wiring in. Pull our cooling fan assembly bracket back into place underneath that lower lip, like I showed you, and we're in there. So now I'm gonna take our Allen wrench again, make sure this is lined up here, turn the right direction. We've got to get our screws started underneath near the cooling fan ducts. Sometimes you might have to get underneath to look up at it while you're screwing these in. Make sure they're threading into your cooling fan bracket. Make sure it's angled the correct way until you get it started. Okay, I got the back one in, started. And you can sometimes see the uh, tips of the screw come up through that fan bracket, threading into it. If you have it aligned correctly. There we go, I think I got that one started. Now go to this one. Of course, you want to make sure your unit is cooled off. Power it down. Actually, I don't have this one powered down, but it's all cooled off. We'll go ahead and power it down. And before we tighten it all the way up, make sure this is squared. Your hot end squared to the front before you make your final tightening. Make sure, remember to tighten all three screws underneath there. 
one time I forgot to tighten up the back screw. I just had the front two. Wasn't paying attention, got carried away. Got excited because I thought I knew what I was doing. Okay, so we got that right. So, then you wanna make sure your wires are behind the bracket right there. We're gonna screw on our front cooling fan next. Get that back in place. Get all four screws in there. And I don't like to tighten one down all the way until all of them are started. So you have some wiggle room there to get them into their threads. It looks like we got them all started. And we're going in. Make sure your wires aren't pinched up here. And get all four of them tightened down. Remove any debris from the fan blades. Next thing you want to do is put in your probe unit again. What your uh, magnetic probe attaches to. Probe plate. These screws are little. So sometimes they're hard to get started. Oh, got one started. And get the second started. There we go. And snug them down. Those two screws holding the probe magnetic plate. <clears throat> Make sure your hot end is squared on from the front. Now we can plug in our wires back. All right. And they're labeled up here. This is, it's the TO. So connect this one to the TO labeled. And this one's labeled hot end. So, right here. They're the white uh, insulated wires right here. So hot end and then of course you've got this one unused. That's for your leveling probe to plug in. So we're back in place now. Last thing we do, we're going to put in our tube here, feeder tube. And then we want to also put a nylon strap there. So that feeder tube stays locked in place there. It's locked down. Cut the extra off. And I got a couple extra nylon tie straps here. Would be ideal if I had about three. Go ahead and tuck your wires back into the uh, wire shield. Just make sure they don't get snagged or anything during the movement of your future prints. Get them all tucked in there good. Make sure they're all in there. And we'll go ahead and tie this casing on. With some nylon strapping. one. We'll get one up here at the top. There we go guys. Now just snip off the excess. We're good to go. Now at this point guys you're just going to want to uh, I preheat the bed. Just preheat 
the whole uh, 3D machine, get the hot end, everything preheated, and then go back to your menu and then you initiate the probe leveling with the bed heated. If you do have problems after that with trying to get a 3D print to stick, of course you can go up into here while it's actually printing a brim and go into other settings and go to your Z offset and you can set it up or down on the leveling bed as it's printing the bed, uh, the print to the bed and that's how a lot of times I get my print started. If it's up too far on one side, now I've done this before with the automatic leveling probe in place, I go ahead and put down two sheets of paper on one half of the bed two sheets of just printer paper on one half, the lower or the, uh, actually uh, the half that is too high, I put two sheets of paper down. So it's gonna, the probe is gonna read higher, so it's gonna compensate and put this side down lower when it starts printing to the bed. And that way you can level this off because you can't level the bed, the actual bed itself. But that's how you can offset one side to the other. Just lay down a couple sheets of printer paper when your leveling probe is going down into place. Guys, I hope this helped you in your 3D printing situation. And I'll see you on the next video.